And in Europe, we have a challenge that is that every company, not only a technological company, but you know, any other company needs engineers. We don't really have enough engineers in, in Europe right now. So there are many programs running to see in how far we can encourage kids to turn in, the, in that direction. Um, is there anything that uh, Panasonic does with regard to looking at the youth and what is the role of the youth in the future with regard to this trend, the, the area of uh, technology? Mm. So in Europe, we have uh, our own R&D. So we have some uh, engineers uh, located in different countries. We have also a design center in London uh, to really uh, develop uh, within Europe uh, specific technology which fits to European markets. We also communicate with children. Uh, we are part of the big uh, KWN, which is Kid Witness uh, News, uh, targeting schools uh, and asking children to uh, develop their view of society. And there we had this year a kind of contest with the schools. And it was very interesting to see that most of their uh, works were focused on environment, mainly environment, but also communication. So this is very encouraging because I think the young generation are really uh, ready for those big challenge, environment and communication. Imagine you're in 2020 and you are speaking to the uh, generation who will then be in uh, managing positions, now they are perhaps in universities, you're in 2020 and you look back the past 10 years, what were the biggest challenges for Panasonic to getting there and what are the challenges ahead? I will explain how, for young generation, a kind of history presentation, how we moved from a oil, oil driven type of economy which was really terrible for environment and how in a few years, from 2009 to 2012, we moved to an uh, oil-free, safe type of environment, which I think in 2020 will be obvious for the young generation. So maybe it will be interesting to make a kind of a drawback, explain how we move uh, this cycle, economic cycle to a new one, and which became obvious for the, for the young generation in 2020. Mm -hmm. And what would you believe is their biggest challenge, uh, challenge beyond 2020? You speak to them in 2020, this is what was a challenge in the past 10 years, but now look ahead, this is the next generation, what do you believe will be their biggest challenge? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> so I think, of course, uh, respect, uh, the future of the planet is a, is a key. And I think even if uh, in 2020 a lot of things uh, will be done, but still uh, for the next, for the future generation, we, we have to go ahead. And I think through technology, through communication, uh, there is many, many steps again f we, we, could, we could develop. And I think the world is going to change very much in a good way. I'm, I'm very optimistic. <laughs>